try to get this camera set up. So, all right, hopefully the camera doesn't fall. But I'm Bruce Cook, and uh, in this video, we're gonna be uh, eating our first super hot pepper of the season. Um, this is a red ghost pepper. So this is a pepper I grew, and this happened to be out of all my super hot varieties, uh, first ones to ripen. So uh, this one's actually been red and uh, completely ripened on the plant, or the skin's been uh, in its uh, ripened color for about a week now. So I've been waiting um, the extra days just to guarantee the inside of this thing was going to be ripened before I picked it and ate it for this video. But this will be actually the first super hot pepper I will have eaten since uh, probably November last year. So um, normally, like during the winter times, uh, I would have had... I would have kept my plants indoors and I would have still had peppers to pick off them every now and then uh, to play around with but this last season I didn't do that um, I needed the space in my bedroom and that's also why I uh, placed my grow box on my wall you know with brackets holding it up above my computer desk but anyways um, yeah we're gonna be uh, eating our first super hot pepper of the season I'm gonna cut this open just to make sure there's nothing funny inside but I don't see any uh, any damage to the pepper no holes from bugs or anything so I don't expect um, to find anything nasty inside um, now we, uh, we're gonna eat the whole thing and then I'm gonna see if uh, I can go uh, at least a few minutes without relief I'm kind of uh, wondering if I'm gonna be able to handle this well because when I did the ahi lemon drop pepper it caught the uh, underside of my tongue on fire I, I mean it was at like a 2 out of 10 and that's kind of crazy uh, that a uh, ahi lemon drop would do that when those things only average like 50,000. And here my, uh, so I cut the uh, ghost pepper open. I can smell it. I can smell the uh, fumes coming out of the thing. So it actually smells really good if you uh, notice. Uh, it did ripen really well inside. It's nice and juicy, moist, thick walled. So this is why uh, uh, I like keeping my uh, peppers on the plants. For uh, at least a few extra days after the skin has ripened, just to guarantee that the insides turn out nice like this. But yeah, I'm uh, not too sure if I'm going to be able to eat this uh, and not need relief. Uh, just it kind of blew me away that the uh, ahi lemon drop would have done that. You know, I'm going to have to uh, cut this stem off of this. I don't want to accidentally rip a chunk of the pepper off. So this is what I pulled off of it. But we're going to eat this, and uh, we'll see if I can uh, get through this without needing relief. So, Oop. No, no, no. Oh. Hold on. Oh, no. You're ruining my video. I do not know where that other half of that pepper just went. You've got to be kidding me. I do not know where the other half of that pepper just went. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hang on. I'm sorry, guys. Let me... Oh, let me figure out what just happened here. Hold on. That thing looks like it just went uh, flung underneath my desk. Wow. Uh, I'm not even sure I want to upload this video now. If I can find it in a good spot. This is disgusting. I'm getting dust all over the place. Well, guys, hold on, let me see if I just found it. I mean, if it landed in dust and stuff, I'm not eating it. I think it went behind my, uh, my desk. Just one second, guys. I cannot see that pepper. I... Well, I guess this is going to be eating half of a ghost pepper. This figures. Well, I don't even know where that other half of that pepper went. I have no idea. I got a bunch of clutter under my uh, computer desk. I don't know where it went. I mean... This is ridiculous. Oh, well. I guess I'm going to be eating half a ghost pepper. Um, I don't know what to say. The thing flung out of my hand. 
this is how I was gonna uh, gonna pop it. So let's eat this before this flies off too. So red ghost pepper. That is thick. That's gotta be the thickest wild ghost pepper I have ever put in my mouth. That's like jalapeno thick. That is so full of juice. The heat's cooking in for sure. I am so shocked at how thick uh, wild that ghost pepper was. That really sucks that I lost the other uh, half of that pepper. I don't know where it went. But, anyways, forget about that pepper. Let's focus on the heat. I tell you, it was very sweet. I got a lot of sweetness. I do have a burn building up right now. It's on the top front of my tongue. Uh, a little bit of the size of my tongue. Oh, it is lighting me up. 2 out of 10. I'm climbing. 3 out of 10 underneath my tongue. Woo! I'm going to get some paper towels. Ah. Uh. 4 out of 10. I knew this was going to do this to me. Wow, a ghost pepper, really? <laughs> That's what I get for not eating super hots for several months. It's most, mostly attacking the, uh, the sides of my tongue and the underside of my tongue right now. A little bit on my lips. The lips are like not even a 1. I'm riding at a 4. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to need relief. But boy, this thing let me up. Uh, I think all my ghost pepper videos in the past, uh, they never got past the 1 out of 10. This is the first time, but I always kept the tolerance up, though. Uh, I got my eyes watering, nose running, can't catch it. <laughs> uh, my eyes can't stop watering. So, yeah, it's like the... the Underside, the front of my tongue, on the sides. That's where the burn is concentrating. I wonder what it would have been like if I had uh, lost that other half of that pepper. Um, so I did have uh, lunch an hour ago. Um, so I don't know if uh, that's going to help my stomach. I don't think I've ever got cramps strong with ghost peppers before, though. But you never know. Still got my eyes watering. I think the bird has already dropped down to a three uh, under my tongue. So, yeah, it's just, uh, actually, it's just above a two now. It is calming down. But it, it's a it's a really intense searing burn, like uh, somebody clamped my uh, tongue with a um, curling iron. It's got that kind of singeing burn. So uh, where the ahi lemon drop, it was just a really intense tingle. I mean, it was a burn under my tongue, but it was a different kind of burn. Like my old peppers have a, for me, it's more of like an intense tingle, if anything. Where reapers are like a flamethrower to the throat. Prematalis are like having magma shot into your throat. And uh, habaneros are more stingy. So this was just like having hot metal pressed into my skin, my tongue. It's already dropped down to one. It feels like my eyes are still watering though. I mean they are watering. So I think it uh, the heat has dropped down under one. But I'm sorry I lost the other half of that pepper that wasn't on purpose. Well, I have a hard time I do have a hard time uh, handling things, uh, you know, when I'm grasping things with the end of my fingertips because Having carpal tunnel syndrome for many years causes uh, me to have nerve damage. So I have little to no feeling in uh, my fingertips. Like everything is numb. And I guess I couldn't feel that the uh, pepper was slipping on my fingers. And by the time I started flinging, uh, it was too late. All I know is it launched in front of me somewhere under my desk. And you know I got a bunch of junk and all sorts of other stuff under there. And it's full of uh, dust. Oh. Uh, Chances are, I mean, if it would have landed on the uh, the wood underneath there, I wouldn't have eaten it because it would have been covered in nasty uh, dust and stuff. But it's got me salivating quite a bit. But um, I guess that wasn't too bad. It climbed 
they climb pretty quick. Usually ghost peppers when I've been eating peppers a lot. And I already have a tolerance. Usually a ghost pepper one takes uh, longer to build up. This one came on a, uh, a little quicker than I'm used to. But I gotta tell you, that was honestly had it been the tastiest ghost pepper I have ever eaten. Uh, because it was thick walled, it was super juicy, and it was it was sweet right away. I mean, it had like that uh, not the same flavor of it, but it had that sweet, the intense sweetness you get from like a red bell pepper. Um, like if you've had uh, green bell peppers and red ones, um, I mean, I think it's the same thing. Just one's ripened, one's not. But you get that uh, that sweet difference with the red ones. It was it was very much like that. It was that kind of uh, sweetness. So I'm very shocked. So, um, anyways, uh, that's the video. Again, sorry that you only see me eat half a pepper. Um, my next videos, uh, or next pepper eating video, I think is going to be uh, should be Lucifer lemon. I mean, those plants uh, were putting out peppers before some of the other ones. I do have some monster. Uh, chocolate pre metallies in my plants right now. Real freaking big ones. So if they ripen first, then uh, I'll be eating one of those. Well, I tell you, that ghost pepper's got me salivating. I keep on having to swallow a bunch of uh, saliva. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I will catch you in the next one.